I just knew it. The crowd around me was multiplying so fast that in a few moments I would be pushed away. All chance to speak to them would be lost. I might like be a Gentile woman and lower than a Jew, but my daughter's life was in the balance, and I refused to be ignored. I cried out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed. To my chagrin, Jesus and his disciples kept walking. But I kept calling out to him. My voice was shrill with the effort. His disciples urged him to walk away, but I pushed through the crowd and bring several well-placed elbows. Finally, I was before him. <coughs> Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter, my daughter is demon-possessed. Jesus looked at me and not without compassion replied, I came from the lost sheep of Israel. I knelt and tears ran down my face. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Here, Jesus had just healed Gentiles and now he was telling me he was only here for Jews. Lord, help me. My heart was in tatters. But again, he put me off. It's not right to take the children's bread and give it to dogs. At my wit's end, I was crumbling. How could my Jesus deny me? Still, I believed, but in my heart, I bowed before his throne. I could barely breathe, for I felt like Miriam's demon was choking my throat. Spots flashed before my eyes, and then I had an inspiration. I had been to many feasts. The dogs that lay under the tables were the smartest and the fattest. I managed to squeak, yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. He looked at me and smiled, woman, your faith is great. Let it be done as you desire. At that very moment, I knew in my heart that he had removed the, the demon from Miriam, and I hugged his knees in worship. His disciples gently lifted me to my feet and thanked him with all my heart. Jesus smiled again and wiped me my tears, and then was lost in the crowd. When I returned home, I found Miriam sitting quietly in her daddy's lap. I took her into my lap and I stroked her hair. I kissed her forehead, and she smiled up at me. Her eyes were bright, shiny, clear. I knew something was different. Her voice, pure and sweet, broke the silence. Mama, I'm healed. The bad thing is gone for me. It'll never come back. I wanted to yell with happiness and run around the room, but I kept my head. That's wonderful, my darling. Jesus healed you, and because you can speak, you will not be sacrificed to the moon goddess. Carrot wrapped his strong arms around us both. Miriam began to sing our love song along with corresponding taps and caresses on my wrist. When I stopped sobbing, I joined in, and after a moment, so did my husband. And we sang our love song for a very 